Yeah, hi guys, I'm Rakhil Rajat. Today I'm going to be talking about titanium based abutments. They are prefabricated and used for screw retain restorations and customized abutments for cement retain restorations. They may be hexed for single unit screw retained or for all the custom abutments or non hex for multiple unit screw retain restorations. The prefabricated titanium based abutments appear to be a very promising solution as uh, they combine a metallic implant connection with a ceramic outer part thereby offering good aesthetics and mechanical stability at the same time following a digital workflow the monolithic restorations can be designed milled and adhesively cemented to the titanium base abutments and then directly screw retained to the implant as a conventional one piece screw retained restorations this type of restoration has shown positive results Different configurations of titanium based abutments are available from different manufacturers according to the indications that is single unit or uh, multiple unit restorations to allow for the compensation of implant access divergence and to achieve passive fitting titanium based abutments for uh, FDPs usually have a more convergent walls a smaller bonding surface and a shorter internal connection to the implant yes more convergent walls a smaller bonding surface and a shorter internal connection to the implant one might assume that these factors could be possible causes for technical complications such as bonding failures or screw loosening now in an attempt to reduce the risk for all these complications the use of ti milled titanium base abutments for crown has been suggested even for multiple unit restorations as the mechanical retention is expected to be higher they provide high strength long durability and either cement or screw retain processes and they allow the fabrication of fixed processes with proper thickness now despite their advantages now talking about the disadvantages of ti based abutments first is the resistance form it can be an issue and debonding of superstructures in extreme cases is a possibility trials are difficult to do as the unglued superstructures cannot be secured without cementation during trials it has got a short uh, chimney and retention can be compromised sometimes the height of these abutments need to be considered in relation to the overall restorative space in modern systems they could be available with different uh, gingival collar heights to uh, enable the margin uh, placement uh, based upon the tissue thickness the ti based abutments have a specific geometry that is saved in the cad cam system to allow for the fast fabrication of restorations once the restoration is milled and has undergone sintering or crystallization cycle it is cemented or bonded to the titanium base extra orally and then inserted into the dental implant the marginal bone loss around the dental implants has been proven to one of the biological complications that can lead to implant failure excess cement has been suggested to have remarkable effect on the marginal bone loss one of the advantages of using ti bases is their ability to cement the superstructure materials to themselves extra orally and to remove excess cement thus aiding in stabilization of the marginal bone level and reduction of the biological complications in addition the ti bases can withstand high occlusal forces because of their high bending movements thus they can be a viable options for clinical applications these abutments has satisfactory mechanical properties and promising clinical behavior titanium bases can be employed as an alternative options to conventional approaches for restoring dental implants i hope it helped thanks